Residents are concerned about a potential military retaliation against the community as investigations into the incident continue. Ghana soldiers, please, we beg you guys. We heard that you are on your way coming. Please, don't come here and beat us. Oh. We are women. We feed ourselves with our shops. Oh. So if you close the shop, what are we going to eat? We beg you, you so much. I have not opened my shop three days. I only came today. I beg you, if it's true that you are coming there, go to the police station. Go there because we don't know the reason why police should be there and they will shoot someone. Not one bullet two. Eight times. We don't understand. So if anything, you should go there and find out and leave us. Let, let us work. We are, we are all living in fears. We closed our stuff for almost three days. We are now here. So we beg them. They should stop. They should stop. We beg them. If they have anything, they should go to the police station. So you all know that the soldiers, when they came, they don't even know men and women. They, all, they go beat all of us. So we beg them. They should stop coming. I'm living in fear. But why should you live in fear? Hey, they said the, uh, the soldiers will come. The soldiers will come. Uh, hey. who, who said the soldiers will come? My mommy, social being there, we heard uh, uh, a lot. Construction activity on the disputed land has come to a standstill. This is a said land that led to the shooting and the death of the soldier. Currently, the residents here say they are living in fear, thinking the military will soon storm this place. Joseph Armstrong, Gold, Alibi TV3, Sandema. Millennium City.